Hey, hey, my friend, Tony Stewart here, and I hope you're having an incredibly awesome day. You know, we've been talking a lot about different um, success strategies from the book Think and Grow Rich, and uh, today's is all about the fourth one. Uh, we talked about desire, we talked about faith, we've talked about auto suggestions. I gave you a couple of practical approaches to auto suggestion yesterday. If you missed that, go back check it out. But today we're talking about number four. Number four is specialized knowledge. And this is pretty cool because um, there's a story behind this and a good example they use in the book about um, Henry Ford. And Henry Ford uh, was called out in a, in a newspaper as being um, ignorant, being a, a long kid or I forget how he did, but it was very disparaging. And he sued the newspaper, went to court and they're sitting in this courtroom and this uh, lawyer from the for the newspaper is asking him all these questions and stuff. And um, Ford just got tired of it. He said at one point, he said, "Listen, I got a whole, I got a row of buttons on my desk, and any question I have to, need to have the answer to that I don't know, I can hit a button and get the answer in a matter of minutes. I don't need to clutter my mind with all that stuff." And uh, the courtroom erupted in laughter, and he ended up winning that case, that libel case. The message in the moral to the story is specialized knowledge is definitely a success factor, but it doesn't have to be your specialized knowledge. You can leverage a group of what I call support people to help you get your success. Robert Kiyosaki uh, in his Rich Dad series, he talks a lot about having a team around him who are experts in their area that he then can leverage towards the goals that he has. And he talked about stuff like having a good lawyer, having a good um, accountant, you know, a good bookkeeper, having those people as part of your support team. You don't have to study law. You don't have to study accounting, but to know and have those people at the ready to help you achieve your goals is wise, smart success. You know, nowadays in this day and age, you know, I was sitting there, I was thinking about how there's even more people that you have as, as potentially part of your success team. It could be knowledge that you either don't have or you don't want to use because one of the things you're going to have to figure out is how valuable your time is and how instead of you spending time doing certain things, I, there's a gentleman by the name of Jim Floor. He was a multimillionaire. He's someone that I met early on in my life and he had a big impact on me. And he said, never do anything for yourself that you can pay someone else to do. Let me say that again. He told me, never do anything for yourself that you can pay someone else to do. And how did that manifest? He said things like having your grass cut. You know, instead of going out there cutting the grass, you could be out doing something productive toward your DMO, toward your success. So what do you do instead? You leverage the talents and abilities of someone whose vision it was to do lawn maintenance. And you let those folks do what they're best at, what their vision has given them to do, you pay them, but then you make your time more valuable than what you pay by your discipline approach towards your DMO. The same thing can apply to cleaning your house. Having someone who has that vision. There are people who said, I want to start a business. I want my business to be in lawn maintenance. I want my business to be in house maintenance. Well, as you start to value your time because you're working towards your DMO, you'll start leveraging and saying, how can I leverage the, the vision of other people and the things they want to do, let them do those things on my behalf. Let me pay them, but let my DMO pay me more than I'm paying them. I hope you get this concept. If you don't, go back and play it again. That's one of the reasons I keep these so short, so you can play it over and over again. It was something that I had never heard before, but when this millionaire told me that, it started making more and more sense. And I believe if you play this over and over again, it'll make more and more sense to you too. Leverage the abilities of others who have the vision, who have the anointing in certain areas to do things, and then work on your daily method of operation. That's all for the day. Inbox me. I'll tell you the top five books you should be reading. And let me tell you something. These top five books, the information in them can help you change how much your hourly worth is worth so that you then can justify getting some help in those areas and essentially buying your time back. Be blessed. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye now.